In this video, you'll see how to use the data validation feature of the spreadsheet control to prevent end users from entering the wrong values into worksheet cells. Data validation settings are located on the Data tab in the Data Tools group. To apply data validation, select cells in the Employee ID column and invoke the Data Validation dialog. On the Settings tab, specify the data validation criteria. For example, restrict data entry in the Employee ID column to a five-digit number. To do this, in the Allow List box, select Custom. In the Formula box, enter a formula to make sure that cells in the selected range contain numbers that are five characters long. Switch to the Input Message tab. This tab allows you to add the descriptive message to validated cells to explain what values can be entered into these cells. Specify the message title and enter a more detailed message in the Input Message field. Now let's switch to the Error Alert tab. Within this tab, you can create an error message to be displayed when a user enters invalid data. Specify the title of the Error Alert window and enter an error description in the Error Message field. Currently, anytime you select a validated cell, a yellow text box appears displaying the input message. Try to enter invalid data into the cell. The error alert window will be displayed. Click Cancel to reverse the cell value change. Using data validation, you can also restrict data entry to a whole or decimal number within a specified range of values. To do this, select cells in the Salary column. Invoke the Data Validation dialog. In the Allow List box, select Whole Number. In the Data box, select the type of restriction you wish to apply. To set the salary upper and lower limits, select the Between Comparison Operator. Now enter the required minimum and maximum values in the Minimum and Maximum boxes, respectively. Switch to the Error Alert tab. Change the Error Alert type to Warning to display a default error message that allows entering wrong values but warns the users that the data they entered is invalid. Try to enter an invalid value into a cell. The error alert window will be displayed. Click Yes to accept the invalid entry. The spreadsheet control supports highlighting invalid values. To do this, click the Circle Invalid Data command. As a result, a red circle will appear around the wrong value. Once you've identified the invalid data, you can hide the circles again. Another common task performed with data validation is to restrict data entry to predefined values in a drop-down list. Select cells in the Department column. Invoke the Data Validation dialog. In the Allow List box, select List. Enter a reference to your list of valid entries in the Source box. You can use a list of comma-separated values or select the required cell range directly in the worksheet. As a result, the drop-down arrow appears to the right of a validated cell. Click the arrow to display the drop-down list and select the required value. To remove data validation, select the validated cells and invoke the Data Validation dialog. On the Settings tab, click the Clear All button. The validation settings will be removed. You can also apply data validation in code using the Spreadsheet API. Data validation rules in a worksheet are contained in the Data Validation Collection, which is accessible using the Worksheet.DataValidations property. To add a new data validation rule, use the Add method of the collection. For example, use the following code to apply a data validation rule to an employee ID column to restrict data entry to a five-digit number. To display the input message next to a validated cell, specify the message title and descriptive text and set the Show Input Message property to True. To define the custom error message, set the caption of the error alert window and specify the error message text. To display the specified error alert each time a user enters invalid data, set the Show Error Message property to True and run the application. Make sure that the input message is displayed for validated cells and the error alert window is invoked when you enter invalid values. Let's add a new data validation criterion to the salary column. Let's restrict data entry to a whole number between 900 and 3000 and run the application. Enter the invalid data. Since you did not customize the error alert message, the default error window is displayed. Now let's create a new data validation rule to restrict data entry to values in a drop-down list 
obtained from the departments list. Let's run the application. Click the arrow next to the validated cell to display the drop down list and select the required value. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Thank <laughs> you.